Indigenous Women and People's Associations of Chad. So that. when I create this organization, so my objective was already defined. Human rights, Indigenous people rights, yes. and environment protections. Mm -hmm. And then through those boards and my organizations, so it has been easy to fit through the other work. But uh, let me give you an history. Okay. Uh, in these organizations. Yeah. So we first travel, you yeah. know, in yeah. our culture, as you are girls, you cannot travel. You travel, and, I and You cannot at all. Oh, so yeah. the first that opened my way to the international world, a uh, traveling to Cameroon in Yahundi mm -hmm. for an international conference of women on biodiversity. And then this conference supposed also to prepare the Beijing plus 10 oh, for the women rights. Yes. Uh -huh. So I went to this meeting and now, uh, I mean, before I travel, uh, they said like, no, you cannot travel like that. So I have to pass through an ambassador in Chad. It was a Cameroonian ambassador who lived in Chad. So he have to come at home, explain to my father the importance of all the meeting and ensuring him that he will take me to the plan in and when I come back, he will take me from the plan to home. So he have to come in my home to pick me with my bag. And as he was ambassador, he took me to the plan inside yeah. Yeah. and then I'm showing my dad that he did it. So imagine that how it's, it's hard, it's so hard. I'm just like laughing on it yeah. compared to the Western people just say like, you want travel? Okay, just like they give you the paper and then someone say, exactly. you get in the plan and that's it, you know? Yeah. So when I get to this meeting mm -hmm. and people start explaining, they conventional way at the international level to talk about human rights and right. to talk about the environment. So they use the term of uh, uh, human rights approach that are based in Geneva with all the human rights extremists. And then they talk about the environment is based on the three Rio conventions, the climate change convention, the biodiversity convention, and the desertification conventions. Yes. And I'm like, really guys? Okay, I think I will share with you what is happening in my community. Wow. But rain didn't come. So for us, we are calling it drought. Yeah. And when drought come, so that means people do not get them crabs. And that means the women are doubling the work in order to feed them families. Yeah. And that means the men are living. And then they are like, oh, really? You know, we really wanted to have you because you are giving us a new perspective yeah. to understand the text that we are writing. And I'm like, I have to educate you because you cannot take the decision without talking with my people and with other people that live in the same. That's because right. those people know the nature better than us. They are the engineers of their own environment. And then I started like that. And then I get interacted with many of our organizations mm -hmm. and moving forward. And one one thing that maybe we have in common, you know, as chat is French and Arabic speakers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was not speaking any single word in English. Wow. And yeah. that made also a revolution on me because when I start on the climate change negotiations, everything is happening in English. In English. I got so, so but to do not understand what is happening because I have so many things to say. Mm -hmm. And at that time I decided that I will learn English in each course. I don't need to go to school, but I'm an African and I can learn each language if I like. And here I am. BS9, we are now the same. I, I'm so emotional, I can't talk. A moving conversation with Hindu Umau Ibrahim. I'm gonna stop crying. You moved me to tears because you said you're an African, you're a woman, and you said, I'm gonna learn English, something that everybody has, takes for granted, as making my mission so that these people could understand me. You know, I speak more than one language, I speak five. My goal is, was to speak 10 so that people could understand me. But I get so emotional, you know, I cry <laughs> over anything. Oh, so make me emotional. <laughs> but I am yeah. so touched and I'm even more blessed to have
have you as my personal friend because our country needs more and more people like you. There are many girls in my country, in our country of Chad, who are not able to get education, let alone be understood and go through the fights, be rejected. Your mom was rejected by her family because she wanted to send her kids to school. You know, there's so much that's coming to mind right now because you've also designed it in such a way now that let's talk about the beautiful things now, some of the results. You've been awarded so much, but you still fight because I saw your schedule. <laughs> I saw the sister schedule, y'all. Beasnail, you're not the same, or we are not the same, see? If you think your schedule is busy, wait till you see my sister Hindu's busy schedule. What kind of awards have you gotten? Let's talk about the fun stuff, the icing on the cake. <laughs> right, so I'm so blessed to get the award, but I cannot say this award is for me. It is for our country. It is for the women yes. and men that are fighting for the nature, fighting every day. Yes. All what I'm doing is just to like supporting what they are doing and being vocal on what they are doing back home. Mm -hmm. So those aware, firstly, it's for them. And the aware also it's for my mom because if she didn't wake up early, maybe I will be also still sleeping, not waking up and doing the things. Yeah. And it is for all the girls yes. of our country because they can do it also. They can get more aware than me because they are so engineers in their own and they just don't want to be unsure and I'm ensuring them they can do it. So I got some of the prestigious awards. One of them, it's, of course, it's the UCLA Environmental Genius. I'm like, oh, wow, I'm happy yeah, to be UCLA. Yeah, UCLA, yeah, it ruins. <laughs> you know, we live in Los Angeles. We have to give it up for our own. Thank you, UCLA, for recognizing one of my own. Uh, <laughs> my sister, Hindu, from Chad. So right, UCLA is really one of the dreams university because they are creating a lot and they're yeah. doing a lot on the environment. And then they recognize me as an environmental genius because I'm creating a solution for the communities. They are supporting my project and promoting it. That's really a wonderful award. And of course, the National Geographic Explorers. Yes. I was like, oh wow, I'm so happy to be a National Geographic Explorers because it's not easy to become inside the family of the National Geographic yeah. because they are so having a very strict criteria on what we are doing. But of course, I have been one of them to get in the stage and talk about the project and talk about, yes, chat is also part of the solution, even we have a lot of problems problem to solve. Yeah. So that was also great. And of course, being among the 17 people in the world yeah. to be an a special advocate for the General Secretary of the UN on the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm like, okay, so I'm with the President of the Ghana, the Prime Minister of Norway. Mm -hmm. I'm with uh, the, the most uh, uh, farms or rich person of China. Uh, I'm with uh, uh, the, uh, the traditional leaders as Amir of Kano, and of course I'm with, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Eddie, who is with the people with disability, but who is really a big fighter, who's supposed to be diagnostic in five years, he's supposed to be dying, but he's alive to now. I mean, I'm so blessed to be with this 17 people from the actors yeah. as for, for us from US yeah. or uh, uh, others from India. So that is one of the awards where we are continuously and giving energy to fight for the sustainable development goals. But of course, uh, uh, like uh, how to say, the, the refugee aware of the US. Yeah. So, I mean, so many others that I can't name, but the last one is the Rolex Enterprise. So Rolex Enterprise is just like 21st of June that I am among, I mean, I'm the first, I mean, not the first, I am the only one African for these years. Wow, repeat so, that again, Hindu. You're yeah. the only, oh my only God. 
can in this hour because there was more than six thousand applications we ended up by 60 we ended up by 15 and we are five and in in my field i am alone and among the five around the world i'm the only one african so i'm like okay that's so good for chat and for all of us as ladies Uh, of course of course of course you represent the diaspora the women of the diaspora well you know yeah and one of the things i wanted to do with you i mean natalie we talked about it it is going to new york yes river River Hill School that yes. need a building in my name. I know. I, I you know, really I'm, I, I'm I so very that emotional. I, this I, also. That, that's beautiful because I was I was telling myself, I even said I would take my daughter. When you come to New York, we're going to go together. And I want my daughter to experience this with us because having your name on a building, not only in a French speaking country, but in an English speaking country i mean you know what you have done amazingly well you represent us all and i am so so emotional and very 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 blessed to have you as my own personal sister i must give a shout out to our sister i, I can't even speak how are mange who put us to, together right yes how are we love you i love you how <laughs> <laughs> so there's a group I will say of powerful Chadian women out there, because when let, let's bring it down a little bit. When you mention Chad, a lot of people say, where is that? Or a lot of people say, I don't know much about Chad. What? Chad? So how do you describe Chad to the norm? That's true. Many people say like, oh, you are the first person from Chad that I met. I'm like, Yes, Chadian people are so proud. They're not traveling a lot, so maybe that's why I'm the first one you oh, meet. I like that answer. <laughs> I like that answer. I love that. So, so yeah, chat for me. Uh, firstly, it is the number four bigger country in Africa among the 54 countries. It is number four because now in Sudan it's break on two. Yes. It is the country who have the incredible ecosystem between the 100% desert in the north, savanna and Sahel in the middle, and tropical forests in the south. So it is unique in this diverse ecosystem when you can have Chad is part of the Central African Republic, uh, and then Chad is part of the Sahel regions, yes. and Chad it is part of the desert countries yes. and at the same time chat it is part of the congo basin yes when you talk about the tropical forest yes so it is well what did you think well what did you think another beautiful conversation tune in next week to see what we have in store on Bayas Nael, we are not the same